Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Wiimod because there's a new update, 8.12.0. Alright, so we're going to attempt to install it onto my Steam Deck and um, let's check my current Steam OS. I'm on Steam OS 3.5.5. Alright, so you can see here, OS version 3.5.5. There's the stable version. I'm on Steam Deck stable. And let's check for updates. Uh, yeah, it's the latest update as of recording. So I'm going to attempt to install the latest Wiimod 8.12.0 onto my Steam Deck. All right, this is my current one. All right, let's run this. This is the current one. It's not the latest version. I think it's 8.11.7. The last time I installed it. Let me check. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, see here it's 8.11.7. Okay, so let's install the latest one. Uh, I've got a few viewers, they asked me if it could be installed, if there's any changes, so let's check it out. All right, let's exit big picture mode. Okay, we're on my Steam Deck right now. All right, so let's do a fresh install. I'll, if you're new to the channel and you want to install it, this would be a complete guide. So First thing you're gonna do on your Steam Deck desktop mode, go to the Discover Software Center. All right, right here. And then search for Proton, P-R-O-T-O-N. Okay, and there's two apps you need to download. One is Proton Up QT, the one with this green arrow. Install this, okay. I already have mine installed, so I don't need to install it. All right. Uh, and also you need to download this proton tricks okay the wine glass All right so install this as well okay so let's open proton up qt first if you don't have proton um 6.19 ge2 you need to install this through here so go to proton up qt and make sure install for make sure it's on steam okay and then click here add version Compatibility tool, GE Proton, and the version, just look for um, 6.19 GE2. All right, this one. And then click install. All right, I already have it, so I'm not going to install it. Mine's here. Okay, and you probably need to restart Steam for it to kick in. Okay, so that's the first step. Okay, second step, you go and download the two installers. So I have mine here in my downloads folder. So the first installer is the Wiimod. So Wiimod 8.12.0.exe. This is the installer file. Okay. And then the another one is the this one. NP, uh, NDP48. So this is the uh, .NET Framework 4.8 installer. Offline installer. It's a dependency that's required. Okay. So download that. I'll leave a link in the description. Download th those two files. That's the second step. All right, the third step, go into your Steam and then click here, add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse, okay, and then downloads, and then we're going to select the Wii Mod, the Wii Mod 8.12.0 installer, okay, then add selected programs, and then on the left-hand side, it should show up. All right, oh, I've got Wii Mod running, so let's stop it first. Okay, so here it... It's here, so the Wiimod 8.12.0 EXE, all right, and then go into its properties, change the compatibility, force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, change it to Proton 6.19 GE2. That's the one that we installed previously, okay, and then run it, all right. So this should uh, bring out a splash screen and install it. Okay, so just wait for it. Oh, okay, we get an error. So this is a little bit different. So we got a fatal error. It says um, MS scores.dll could not be located. Please reinstall .NET Framework. Okay, so okay, so I think um, now we need to install .NET Framework before we can install it. Before you don't need to do that. You can install it straight away. Okay, so. 
Now what we do is we locate the prefix folder that we just created, okay? So if you don't know how to do that, go into your Dolphin or File Explorer, go to Home, click the three lines here, make sure Show Hidden Folder is, uh, sorry, Show Hidden Files, it's checked. Okay, so we're going to go into a hidden folder, dot Steam, and then go to Steam, um, Steam Apps, Compact Data, and then I'm going to view, I'm going to change the view to this view where I can see the modified. So I'm going to sort by the modified and you can see just now, so this folder was just created. So I know this is the Wiimod folder, the prefix folder, okay? So let's go into it, go into prefix, drive C, okay? And then we go to users, Steam user, app data, local, and yeah, you can see it didn't install because normally we should have a Wiimod folder here installed. So it didn't install it here, all right? So what we need to do is now, I think it's um, step four, open Proton Tricks, okay? Open Proton Tricks and then go to the non-Steam shortcut. So Wiimod 8.12.0. See this number, 3.22.429. This is a random generated number. It actually matches your um, folder, your prefix folder here. So make sure they're both matched. It should be. And then we're going to go inside the prefix folder and do some configurations. All right. So, okay. It's normally would say uh, this, this is a warning message. We can skip through it because we're on Proton 6.19. All right. You should be on 7.x. All right. It's just a warning. Just click OK and you'll get past it. And it feels like nothing's happening. Don't panic. All right. And then here, select a default wine prefix. Okay. First, we go to run wine config. We're going to change it to Windows 7, all right? It's been, by default, Windows 10. We're going to change it to Windows 7. Click Apply, OK. All right, we need to do this because .NET Framework 4.8 doesn't install on Windows 10, okay? Now we're going to do Run Uninstaller, OK. And then here, click the Install button. And then we're going to locate the .NET Framework 4.8 offline installer that you downloaded from the link in my description. Okay, so I'm going to search for it. Yeah. Here it is. Okay, so we're going to install it right now. Okay, so if you like this kind of stuff, if you uh, like gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, we talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats. Trainers, stuff like this, like the Weebot trainer we're doing right now. All right. If that's your thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. We have lots of videos regarding this. And also give a like to the video, please. All right. So we're installing .NET Framework 4.8. Okay. On Proton 6.19 GE2. Okay because um, we need to install Wiimod. And Wiimod only works, uh, you can only install Wiimod with this Proton version. Okay, so just wait for it. Gotta be patient with these. Let it do its thing, don't panic. Just follow along. This is a little bit different from the previous um, tutorials I did on Wiimod. I guess because they upped the version 8.12 from like it was before it was 8.11.7. They upped the number. Normally it's like 8.11.8, .8, but they skipped that. They like they changed the number together. So I think it's a probably a, a bigger update this time. So there are some differences in the process. Okay, so installation is complete, finish. Okay, you can double check it. So I can run, run installer again, the uninstaller, and it should be here. All right, so you can see we've got .NET Framework 4.8 installed. Okay, so let's just cancel out of Proton Tricks. 
and then let's run the installer again okay and if the installer works we should have a wiimod folder here all right let's run it okay we should have a splash screen and then it should be installing and then it closes by itself all right you see it populated see the wiimod folder just generated right now so i think it's installed okay the splash screen okay that was weird the splash screen just came and went away but i think it's installing it's installing you can see yeah you can see we've got the wiimods here the folders here the exe is here yeah i think i think it's installing it's a little bit different from previous versions all right so before it just stops by itself but this time it doesn't stop so i guess we'll have to stop it it seems like it's already installed so yeah let's just try it so i'm just going to stop it okay i'm going to stop it and then i'm going to copy this location okay because i want this wemod.exe i want to run this so i'm going to copy this location this prefix folder and the wemod location because i don't want to run the uh, and, uh, sorry, I'm not going to run the installer again. Okay, so let's go over here. Properties. Okay, in the target section, I don't want to run the uninstaller. Uh, no, I'm always saying uninstaller. I don't want to run the installer. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to paste the new location. Click on the check mark. And then select wemod.exe. And make sure in the target, you put the quotation marks at the front of the path and at the end right make sure the quotation marks are there else it won't work and then starting we're going to just paste the location okay so just paste the wemod location without the exe and no quotation mark all right and then i'm going to change the proton to proton experimental all right that's the version we want to run it on all right so let's play and see if wemod boots up see if we successfully installed it okay so yes it does run so i think we did install wemod but um the dotnet framework like is not the correct version because we installed dotnet framework 4.8 on proton 6.19 ge2 we need to install it onto proton experimental okay so this is the next step i forgot what step it is i think it's step five all right so step five what we're going to do is we're going to open proton tricks again and then go here, non steam shortcut, we mod 8.12.0.exe. Okay, wait for Proton Tricks to load into it. It's going to take a little bit of time. Like I always say, don't panic. Okay, select the default wine prefix. Okay. Run uninstaller. Okay. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is uninstall this, all right? So click on .NET Framework 4.8, remove it, because this is the wrong version. So I'm going to remove it, continue. All right, let's do its thing. So we can sit back and relax right now. All right. Okay, so if you're liking the video so far, yeah, please give a thumbs up like the video really helps out and if you're following this um and you did all this at the end of the video if you get if you run vmod and you get this message saying um, i'll put the message on the screen if you get this message the antivirus message we call it the antivirus message um if you get it let me know um in the comments or maybe jump onto my discord server all right because i'm not sure if this message um is still a thing in this latest update because um some people were getting this message on the previous um versions so i'm not sure if this version has um fixed that problem but i don't have that so i don't know if you have it then uh, let me know okay so removal is complete okay so finish now we're going to reinstall it all right so i'm going to select the programs exe again 
so you uh, yeah if you can't find it you have to select programs exe here okay and then i'm going to select the, the offline installer and i'm going to reinstall it okay so we're almost done if we um, successfully installed .NET Framework 4.8 onto Proton Experimental on this prefix. I think we could run Remod, and it just works. Unless we get the antivirus message, but I don't normally get that. I don't know why. I don't know why people get it. It's it's kind of weird for me. I think it's because the prefix folder somehow when they generate it, it's just different for everyone. So something must be wrong there. Okay, so continue. I have read and accept the license terms. Okay. All right, sit back and enjoy. It looks fine. If you can't install it, normally the bar it will drop back down and then it will go back up. Yeah, that's when you know it's messed up. All right, so this looks fine. Like it's going up and then it's loading. It's not dropping back. It looks fine. I think we're good. So this is also my first time installing 8.12.0. I don't know what's the difference. Like what did they update? Maybe I'll probably check the patch notes later. But uh, it's a new version. All right, so installation is complete. So finish. Okay. And then normally I'll just change the run wine config. I'll change it back to Windows 10 because most games run on Windows 10. And we only changed it because we don't, uh, we want to install .NET Framework 4.8. So once it's installed, we can change it back. So, okay. Then we can quit um, Proton Tricks and let's try to run Wiimod. All right. Cross your fingers. Hopefully it works. Else I probably have to re record the whole video. All right, good. We're in. Okay, so there you go. That's how you install Wiimod 8.12.0 onto Steam OS 3.5.5 stable. All right. So there was a little bit difference um, at the start. Uh, that was a little bit difference there. But uh, yeah, so if you're installing for the first time, please follow this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.